Hey Chloe, here are my answers to your questions. Um, so number one, where does your mind go when you think about zoos? I guess um, I think about the, I've only been to a couple of zoos and um, the last one I went to that I really remember the most would be in um, Washington DC and I just remember the primates and um, thinking that they were pretty awesome and panda bears, which I don't love panda bears, but I just, that's where my mind goes is the panda bears because my brother-in-law loves the panda bears. Um, I also, when I was down in Florida, I went to a big cat sanctuary and it made me sad because they, it wasn't a well-kept, uh, it's not necessarily a zoo, but it wasn't a well-kept animal sanctuary. It was a, the cats were all stressed and it was very cool to see those cats, but, um, the like panthers and, um, uh, other large cats. Sorry, I'm exhausted right now. So, um, they were stressed and that was hard to see. So my mind goes there too. Um, yeah. So what do you think? Um, are the benefits and negatives about zoos? Well, if a zoo is done right, it can be a really positive thing. It can be a place where um, animals go if they um, are hurt and can't be reintroduced into the wild. Um, so it's an opportunity for them to have uh, uh, to continue life or to continue living because if they were to be introduced back into the wild, they would um, not necessarily be able to make it. Um, it's also a great educational tool that we use to protect um, our wildlife. So the more people know about, let's say, primates or large cats or um, even snakes, you know, uh, uh, polar bears, then the more people know about it, the more likely they're going to be able to, they're going to be interested in protecting um, those animals um, and the habitat in which they live. So education, I think, um, is a very big part of what zoos are about. And I think that's really important. And so those are the benefits. Um, there. The negatives are if a zoo um, is not done well, um, animals can become stressed and it can be a, a bad life for, for them. Um, so there are um, great zoos. There are people that have degrees in taking care of animals and do a great job. And then there are some places that are uh, not so positive. So number three, do you think there is going to be a time with no zoos? I don't think so. I think people are too interested in zoos um, or in animals. And um, there are entire... Um, branches of science and uh, people going to school to study how to take care of animals. Um, so I think that zoos will be around for a, uh, a long time. I don't know if there's something that you know that I don't know. Um, what animal struggles the most? I would say that top predators probably do. The large animals um, that require the greatest amount of space. So our top predators, let's say like bears and um, where are our other top predators around here? Uh, bears top predator, but they um, are going to need the widest range and the, the largest range to um, to live. And um, and sometimes zoos can't always. Uh, give the amount of space that um, is preferable. Um, however, sometimes though, it's a better alternative than putting the animal down. Um, so usually the animals that need the largest range to survive. Um, what is beneficial to the animals? Um, it is a safe place. So if an animal has been hurt, um, it is a, it can be a sanctuary. And tell me what you might change about zoos. Oh gosh, um, I would just take all the bad zoos. 
<laughs> and make them give animals more space, give them more funding. Usually the people that work at these places are wonderful people that want to do the best for these animals. And, um, you know, if we could give them more funding, they could give more space, give more food, not necessarily more food, but um, give more space and, uh, you know, more ideal um, places to live. Um, and why do animals end up in zoos? So if an animal's hurt um, and it's been rescued uh, and it can't be reintroduced, it'll end, it can end up in a zoo. There are, unfortunately, animals that get captured and are uh, brought into zoos, and that I don't agree with. Um, an animal that has been living in the wild and can live in the wild should live in the wild. Um, however, animals can be born in the zoo, and that's the only life that they know. And um, that is, um, you know, that's one way that animals end up in the zoos as well. And what do the animals in the zoo get compared to the animals that are in the wild? I don't really know what you mean by that question. Um, how, how do the animals at the zoo get compared to animals in the wild? I think maybe we might give people a false sense of security. I just hear about um, people that walk up to moose to try and touch them or take their picture because they think that, um, you know, it's <laughs> okay and they can get mauled or killed um, or they get too close to a bear to take a picture. Um, wild animals should be left um, alone while they're in the wild. And so maybe sometimes at the zoos people get too complacent. Um, they get too comfortable. But I also think that zoos are a very good educational tool. Um, I hope this helps and let me know if you have any questions. Okay, bye.